This is what a WYSIWYG editor in Magento looks like. And this is the insert and new table button within the WYSIWYG Magento editor. We now have the insert modify table window open. From here, we can affect and change the table. Culls and rows simply refer to how many columns and how many rows you would like included in the table. We'll choose four columns and five rows for this example. Cell padding refers to the space between the borders of the table cell and the cell's contents. We would like five pixels of cell padding. Cell spacing refers to the space between each cell in the table. We would like five pixels of cell spacing. Alignment refers to what part of the page the table will be aligned to. We will choose the center. You can create a table border by typing in a border width into the border field. We would like a five pixel border. The width of the table will determine how far the table will span across the web page. We would like the table to take up 80% of the page's width. Table height takes on the same principle as width. You can also put your table into a class of style you've previously determined or give it a caption which will live at the bottom of your table. We're now in the Advanced tab of the Insert Modify Table section. The Advanced section is more technical and most areas here you won't need to affect. However, there is a style summary of what you've chosen in the General tab under Style. You also have the ability to change the border and background colour of your table by clicking on the colour palette next to the border or background colour field. This opens up the Select a Colour window where you can select your colour. Once you've made all the necessary changes, you can click either Update or Insert. This is how your table should look.